what's up guys welcome to another night of spoilers and uh actually i should say another week but the way uh the spry kind of uh placement of spoilers we're gonna do them weekly uh monday nights we'll kind of release that and it's going to be based on all the english translations that we can get our hands on uh excuse a motorcycle or any noises in joey's background <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, no, don't put this on to me i'm just noticing now oscar has his motorcycle colin has his dogs and they complain about my children all the time <laughs> Oh, Joey's it's children. It's because Joey needs to learn to friggin' pull out. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, back to... Back to Anyways, uh, so, thank you, so that's kind of going to be the schedule kind of going forward of how we're going to do this until the full set releases will go over as usual and then uh, do some other, I guess, you know, talk about pre-release. Joey will do a primary video. Uh, uh -huh. But till then, you guys want to visit and the link... Uh, there's links in the description below for two different things. One, Happy Little Hug Factory. You guys can head over there and pick up the box for $80 for uh, Awakening of the Ancients. Um, you can also check out... It's uh, DKP... Uh, what, DK... <laughs> I sound horrible now because we just got this new. Uh, it, it is a magnetic here. play mat for your cards. Uh, it's uh, plastic, so you're able to play like outside in the wind at your locals. You're able to move it with all your stuff on it without it like, collapsing in the middle. A bunch of cool different stuff like that. If you guys missed it on Monday, we had a video going over it in uh, more detail. So be sure to check that out. But there's a link in the description as well, similar to Happy Little Hug Factory. Make sure you click that link so they know we sent you over. I'd recommend checking out. It's an awesome. Uh, unique product uh for the tcg world yeah i'll have to get used to mentioning it because that was completely new and i just train wrecked it but uh anyways going on we have spoilers for tonight which ones are we going over first yeah i guess all right college, so first up we've got traveler in the sea of clouds which is a four cost divinity two chance slash master rune where you pay three void less if it's an adam's deck so it cost one light instead of adam uh, you look at the top three cards of your deck, reveal any number of resonators with different total costs from among them, and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in a random order. And if you awakened it for four, uh, you put them into the field instead. Uh, so, yeah. What thoughts? It's okay. Uh, yeah. First that's off, that's not what that's no. not what Adam needed to. Well, know, yeah, yeah. Obviously, they're keeping to their promise of a. Uh, of elevating shitty ruler so he he was yeah. already pretty strong but um it, uh i think the original ability the one cost ability is actually really good because yeah. potentially it's a one cost draw three that's like ridiculous good at at yeah. worst it's a one cost draw one where you're filtering three cards of your deck especially if you're but if you're resonator heavy you're you're probably drawing two to three cards so i think that's pretty decent uh mm -hmm. the differing cost kind of sucks uh, i don't know why they added that caveat in there I don't think it really need. Well, I guess kind of needed it, but I don't know. But I mean, the awakening's it, terrible. If it didn't have that, Colin, if it didn't have that, it would literally just be draw three resonators or like look at the top three cards, reveal any number, any number of resonators, resonators put in your and then put them I think in your that's hand. Fine. A yellow deck's then, pretty, usually pretty then, chant heavy. But then they also need to make sure that that the awakening is not broken, so like you can't just throw three like two cost resonators onto the field. Like, I think it's. I think. I think it would be overpowered the other way. Is is my only. I, I, I think if they introduce a light colored top deck fixing type of thing, then that's what Adam could potentially use to to really uh, bust bust the door open. But uh, yeah. I think it's a decent original cost. I feel like the awakening's way too <coughs> high for all the caveats mm -hmm. the original has. I think a, 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 a three cost awakening or even potentially a, a double white awakening. Yeah, uh, so two white would have been perfect. Yeah, since they have to have oh. different costs, unless they're introducing that deck fix. Bad. If they introduce top deck but, fixing and the spoilers coming up, then this is completely understandable. Yeah. So, the thing I don't like about the the two white is like that's too much for like if you land on like a six cost resonator or something crazy. Um, like, so I think I th I think the original card without the awakening is actually really like really really good. Um, I'll pull back on on a that but i do think that the other the awakening is not as good like you only look, get to look at the top three I maybe mean, if it was like top five um and then the awakening was like one less or something like that but it just like top three is so restrictive but it's great for an actual one cost like draw three or you know potential draw three it would have been way better if it was look at the top five cards of your deck Put any three resonators with different costs from them in your hand. Like, same effect, but you get a nice cushion. 
Yeah. And yeah. I think that would have been a lot better personally. Like I just, it wouldn't have top broken. Top three cards is so is so like what? so last year. Yeah. Wasn't that already a, a a chant or a rune to look at top five for red? Yeah, kind of probably. I mean, not like this. There's a lot of like like the top five cards. But yeah, this is unless they introduce other stuff. I, this I, is, I, this I is not what Adam it. needed, and it doesn't even synergize with Adam's uh, ruler side of, of of building off of. I mean, it kind of does just because it's a rune. But I feel like it would have been cool effect of like, hey, for it does something, and for the rest of the turn, if you would gain life or do some effect, uh, you double it or. You know, so I, I, obviously I'm just thinking off the top of my head, but it would have been kind of cool because then you get the effect right off of playing it. And so it's really centralized to not only Adam, but flipping Adam. It, it makes you incentivized to flip him. And something like that would have been kind of cool. Instead, it's... And like, yeah. quick casting this is cool, though. Like, yeah, quick casting it for five is, is, is kind of cool. But yeah, I, but I also I, already have, like, in a Panda deck, you have a one-cost quick cast light that's guaranteed to draw a card. This you could potentially whiff and not pull any resonators. And it's not quick cast, but yeah. So we'll move on to the next one. Oh, oh, fortune favors the brave. Now let's go, let's go. And that's IU. That's pretty. Oh, cool. I, I didn't even see she's up there. Like wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. She's adorable. Next from I Spy Productions, PT Limited. Joke. Ocean Beam. I got this one. Ocean Beam. It's a uh, two void, two uh, water divinity, three chance slash rune. Quick cast. You may pay two less to play this card from a rune area. Destroy target resonator with total cost four or more. If you do, draw two cards. I like it. Mm. I like yeah. this one a lot. Yeah, I think she's really good. It's a two cost, destroy a giant rezo and draw two cards. That's yeah. super cool. I, I probably wouldn't main deck it, but I'd throw it into my rune deck. I might, I might. Well, no, yeah, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't main deck this, right? But yeah, definitely get cost. it in your rune. Yeah. Um, and it's some sort of weird dragon that's got armor on it. So is this meant to technically be uh, part of like the Knights of the Round Table machines, or is this because also Dragony, which is more Loki type of thing? Like who who there's a, who, there's whose a, deck does this go in? There's a woman like floating above it too. Oh. I I, I I feel like it is machines. Or oh. I mean, yeah. the visual of the armor looks like machines. Yeah. Too. It looks kind of um, like a villain you would see in Gamera. Get the fuck out of here, Colin. Um, I will say that this card has some really crazy, like, um, like trade, like, uh, card trading. Like, drawing two cards on top of destroying that four-cost resonator is kind of crazy. It's pretty crazy. Imagine mm -hmm. having a card, like, um, a five-cost card, like, Missile Time. You're, you're running a yellow-blue deck. Sorry about my dogs. Um, and she's in the field. And you haven't judgmented with your ruler yet, so you can still grab her out of the graveyard. Your opponent goes to try and remove her from game. And in response, you play this to destroy your missile time, draw two cards, she goes in the graveyard, now you can judgment and grab her out. Sorry, the dogs. I'll get them in a sec. But think about that. What are your thoughts on that? I don't I like it. Distracted with the dogs. <laughs> I, I don't it. like it, but it's not bad. Uh, no, I'm just, saying just as an option, a defensive mechanism. Right, right. This also works. It doesn't say to, it's only drawing, if you destroy your opponent. It's drawing you cards. You're not really... You're kind of gaining cards, I guess. Like, I guess if they're targeting your own dude, it's just, I don't know. A two-cost draw two cards another. is already good. So yeah, two-cost protect they the have rezo. To be, they have to be targeting your dude, though. Like... Yeah, it's Otherwise a defensive it's mechanism. Bad, yeah. I just said defensive. I gave a specific yeah. scenario of her being removed from game rather than going to the graveyard, which you want her in the graveyard. I just got, I outlined, you're but like, then, yeah, but this well, other scenario you never brought know, up would be bad. And I'm like, I know, that's why I didn't bring it up. That'd be a bad scenario, Joey. <laughs> I know, it is a bad scenario. I was part. just giving up, but like, then, I was just saying, like, hey, as a side thing, <laughs> here's another thing you could do just because the card allows it. And you're like, yeah. But it'd be better if you destroyed your opponent's razor. Of course it'd be better if you destroyed your opponent's razor. That's what I was about saying. That's why I'm saying it's not that good of a of a of an idea to do it. Like oh my God. it's alright. Because... It's an interesting thing that could happen. How about that, Con? It's yeah. an interesting thing that could happen. Adapt. That would be a good play. Also, if, it's quick cast. I don't know if we mentioned that, but it's really yeah. good that it's quick cast. <laughs> I did. It is good. Okay, Oscar. What's next? Uh flavor. 
Oh, uh, the blue light washes all the way. Next up. Uh, uh, next, Connor's Attendant, which is a one cost, 3-3, three, three, human. Uh, rest and target fire resonator gains plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. If it's Kana, Descendant of the Oracle, it gains swiftness and precision. I really like this card. This is yeah. really good, yeah, I think. This is interesting. I'm also liking the artwork on it. It's actually pretty cool. I'm yeah. actually I'm actually a big fan of like if something comes in and it already has swiftness, like she just pumps it up a little bit. Like um, think about like um think about like uh like uh sands sandworms and stuff. Like, you know, they already have the swiftness. They don't like you know, you're just hitting them in for what, six Oscar? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was messaging somebody about a card that we're going to get You guys are awful. <laughs> Sandworm what? has 400. It's a 400, 500, right? Sandworm? Sandworm? No. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like a 1-1? One, one? No. Sandworm? No. No. It's a... Oh, my gosh. You got... You it's, got like a, it's like a 4-3 or something. Pretty sure it has 400 attack. 3-4. Is it 3-4? Okay. Yeah. I was close. Anyways, my point is he already has swiftness, so he doesn't need to get the swiftness off of her second ability. So he just can come in and she can pump him a little bit, you know? Well, yeah, having a one drop out. that's basically always able to pump, pump, pump that doesn't die to Sandstorm is uh, pretty good, I think, and then potentially give something swiftness and precision. Yeah. But just that pump, and you're, she already put on the field, and before recovery next turn, you can pump something, recover her, pump it again, so you're giving something 400 potentially. That's a good point. And if you have multiple of them, obviously that stacks more and more. I think this is a really good um, early game mechanism for red decks. Somebody mentioned uh, she can target um, herself also, yeah. so like Somebody she's at minimum. It. Oh yeah, Go that other ARG dude. Um, like you know she's she's going to be a, a five five if you do it before before she untaps, then she'll untap and be a five five and get to attacking. Um, what's the uh, flavor text? Uh, Miss Yuzhang, we've been expecting you. Please come right this way. Mm. I tried to figure out, yeah, someone said there's a typo on Oscar. this, what's the typo? Yeah, no, I saw that too, and I'm like wondering what that I'm was. I'm like scanning over this, maybe they're like, oh, it's just target any resonator, not a fire resonator. Um, if it's, if it is kind of descendant, of the, maybe it's the name, kind of descendant of the Oracle. I don't know, Ryan, if you're watching this, let us know in the comments below, because I'm curious, or anybody who knows. Yeah, this is bothering me now. All right, next up. We got Kana, Descendant of the Oracle, like, uh, it, that's this, this is the one it can target. It's a three red, five eight human, and you pay, you may pay two red to, less to play this card. I as, see it now. You see the typo? Yeah, he's on here and he mentioned it, Descendant is misspelled. Oh. Yeah, that's supposed to, uh-oh. <laughs> um... Yeah, they spelled Descendant wrong, guys. It's supposed to be A-N-T, not E-N-T. Hmm. Well, uh, Jeff's gone, if in case you guys didn't hear. All right, you pay two less to play this card. As long as you control five or more magics, fire magic stones. Whoopsies. Entered. Target resonator gains plus four attack until end of turn. Rune of four, it gains swiftness. So if you have four runes revealed, she gains swiftness. Or if you have that one cost on the field, it'll give her swiftness. Um, if you have five magic stones, which I mentioned this to Oscar, why didn't they just say seal five red magic stones? We have the ability built in for what it's trying to communicate here, which is the seal ability. Why'd they spell it out like this, which I thought was weird, but, um, but yeah, so it, 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 it's potentially a one cost five, eight with swiftness that gives something, uh, four potentially itself four until it turn. So it's potentially a nine, eight with swiftness. Yeah, I actually one. really, really, really like her. Um, I think, I think that especially with her, you know, her little, her little buddy, um, she get like a 11, 11, 10. Yeah. She comes down. The uh, flavor is the name Kana is passed down through the generations, along with the duty of guarding the sealed god. I like the little uh, um, um, dragon maid uh, anime reference in there. Yeah. Anyways, on, 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 on Facebook, yeah. Next one. <clears throat> Next one is Dog hey, Shiggy Tummy. Awesome. He said it, and you weren't doing anything, man. So I, was I was I was on the wrong page. Um, Dog Shiggy Gummy is a two cost six hundred six hundred. He's a resonator, good boy Shiggy Gummy. 
uh, and should recover two target magic stones if you control a yin yang master a yin yang's master best friend yeah, so I think this is potentially pretty good. There's a, We have a couple Yanin Masters, nothing crazy, but we do have them that, and some that are being played. There's Joey's kids. Um, and uh, I assume we're going to get more in this set. So he's potentially a, a free cost 6-6, six, six, uh, but there's um, other ways that this could be more. Like if you were to say, I don't know, pay one to bring him in, then he's going to covering two magic stones then you're getting you're gaining stones by his recovery so i think this has potential hey um mm -hmm. yeah yeah i don't know i was i was googling the whole um the whole uh um the whole typo and i think it it says descendant in uh in in, in the dictionary too it, like, de it depends. What's the definition of the two? E two. It says, de descendant with an ENT says descending from an ancestor. And then descendant says a person playing an animal that is descended from a particular ancestor. Uh, so her flavor text is the name Khan has passed down through the generations along with the duty of guarding the sealed god. So which one would that fall under? I don't know. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like a grammar. Yeah, you're the only one of us that has a college degree <laughs> right now. Well, okay, so hold just, on. I'm not the grammar guy, but I'm looking into it. So okay. Like, if is this what you guys for spoilers? With a and T, it says from a particular ancestor. So if it's the oracle, then it should probably be a and T. Yeah. Descendant says descending from an ancestor. So. Would probably still it, be a &T. so like it can technically Not, be both, but A and T is the more proper use of it. I wouldn't say E and T is wrong. I mean, like I said, I'm not a grammar, but like, I wouldn't say it's wrong. Like, yeah. you're still so, descending from an from an ancestor. Next up, Oscar. I don't know. Yep. Next up I is Seimei, the Shigami user. The three costs, two green and a void, seven eight. Resonair Cat slash Yin Yang Master. Enter a the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a Shikigami from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in random order. And he has the ability of rest and pay a green. You may put a Shikigami at total cost four or less from your hand into the field. And another ability of banish a Shikigami. And this card gains barrier until end of turn. Yeah, so this... I like this card a lot. This is what I was talking about. So we have this on the field, and then before your recovery phase, you tap and pay one. You put Dog Shigigami in the field, it recovers two stones, you do some other stuff, recover, and you can do that again. So this is the mechanism where you can get Dog Shigami in the field for one and recover two stones, so you're gaining stones. But obviously there's probably a lot of other uses for it, but it mm -hmm. is a Yin Yin Master, so it already meets that requirement of the, the dog. I, yeah, that's 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 pretty interesting. I, I hadn't really thought about like doing this before you untap. You can get like two Shikigamis out on, in one turn. You can do it in defense in response to your opponent swinging into your face. You put a, something that's beefy enough to stop it or have some cool enter effect and stuff. Or you can you can you can drop a guy in and then banish him to give Simi the barrier yeah. so that it could stop. Basically them. a one cost barrier, yeah. Yeah. No, I think this is uh, actually a really good card. Plus, it has a nice little enter effect on top of all the other stuff. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely a fan of like if you have enough of these, I think they should synergize really well together. Especially the 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 next Shikigami. We, I I had already seen these three because yeah. Oscar showed me. Uh, we'll we'll go on to the next. Oh, you want to read the flavor, Oscar? It says yes, you may touch them, but the Shikigami only listen to my commands. Oh. Next up, we got Monkey Shikigami, which is a one cost four four, and it gains one one in swiftness as long as you control a Yin Yang Master. So yeah, that's so, pretty good. Yeah, like I think playing, um, you know, playing the uh, the Dog Resonator, who's like basically free, and then on top of like you know the, he pays for like two Monkey Shikigamis. I don't. Know, I think there's a lot of this is like Value Town. Yeah, population Shikigamis. As long as you like the card draw and stuff. I think yeah. It's cool. uh, but yeah, no, it's, uh, 
yeah, just the one cost four four is already decent for being a Shigigami, so it's a, it's yeah, could just at minimum be fodder for Sami. But the fact that it's potentially a one cost five five with swiftness is just good, good, good. Especially because Sami on top of that, like gets you know, he, he draws you your Shigigamis too. Yeah. Flavor um, is I can see, hear, and speak just fine. Get it, uh, get it. Yes. Get it. Yeah, I get it. Get it. <laughs> um, Get it. Roar of Diabol Diabolos. This is the next card. Uh, three cost. Divinity 2. Chant slash rune. Quick cast. You may pay one darkness less to play this card from a rune area. Play this card only if oh, you control yeah. a demon. Destroy target J slash resonator. Its controller discards a card at random. I hate this so much. I hate it. You just, you just hate this card, Colin? No, I hate two cost quick cast destroy your J ruler and also they discard a card at random that they don't even get to choose. That's that quick cast speed. That's super strong. That's like I didn't ridiculously that it, strong. That it hits, that it hits J rulers. Yeah, They're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Your your opponent can literally judgment as long as you have a demon on the field, which there's already uh, one or two demons that are being run, uh, um, mm -hmm. and there's no way there's not more demons coming. A two cost that destroys J rulers in a, a format where judgmenting is a big deal, cost a crap ton to judgment and stuff like that, and then it's just like, all right, in response, I'll pay two, and that is dead. And hey, pretty much all the uh, all the new Valhalla rulers don't have barrier or perishable or anything like that, so it's just oh. like, oh, it's it's just dead now. And also discard a card at random, and you could potentially two cost if you're later in the game and you have your opponent on the ropes. And they're top decking. You can destroy one of the resonators and make them discard whatever they just top decked to guarantee your next turn that is, and stuff. That is actually this a, is a quick a, cast a, discard on top of destroying a J ruler mm -hmm. or any resonator. So I think this is too much. The thing is, I think the the restriction of play this card only if you control a demon is good enough that it's gonna be it's probably yeah. gonna be okay. Because the current like, demon is only a one drop, right? That people play. No. Or is it two drop? No, no. it's two. Two drop. He's a two drop. They're going to introduce a one drop demon. I can get. I, I mark mark my words right I now. Mean, we're going to see a one drop demon, and I don't, even I, without that, a two drop demon. There, no one's judgmenting before turn three so, or okay. four. So. so there's four cards, you know, because you're going to run four contract demons that you're actually going to be able to use this on. And because no some decks run Mephi. On. Some decks run Mephi. Huh? Some decks run Mephi. Mephistopheles. What is Mephi? Mephistopheles is a demon on both sides. Also, there's is a bunch he, of different two elite? cost demons. Yeah, he is. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I have a feeling we'll see more demons as a result. Yeah. I personally think more this options. is too much. Like, why, why the cost reduction? It's already a three cost quick cast, destroy anything, and discard a card at random. Uh, yeah. I think I think the and you the can run a place out of these, so you can run I, one in your room deck and three in your three cost destroy J relay and your opponent discards card. No, you're not going to not gonna run three of four of these. I would. You, uh, Are I you kidding me? Being able to do a stoning to death and just pay one more to also have your opponent discard a card at random. Yeah, at but not cast the, the three. The three in your deck doesn't get the stone. It's three cost in your deck, and you're st and it's going to be dead cards in your hand if you don't have a demon. And if somebody kills a demon, then you won't Obviously, be able to... you, you make sure you guarantee a demon. I think this will bring to the forefront some demons people haven't been playing. Or, like I said, there's no way we're not getting demons this set that are playable. So, I'm just saying... It, it depends. I think this is if we get more stretch. demons, maybe. But I think all the demons stretch. besides contract demons sucks. Green decks will be fine because they can just fair a spell. But, like... <coughs> I don't know. I don't like it. I'm not... I'm not... I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed, but I'm not like, I'm not worried about it. Um, I am. I'm just gonna go on record. I'm worried about this. Super flavor. Okay. Uh, Oscar, you're up next. Flavor. Oh yeah. Uh, Diablo's roar reached to the ends of the earth. Oscar, go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, next one is one of the promos which we already seen, which is Kara, Valkyrie of the Red Lance. One cost, uh, white, 4-4. Four, four. Valkyrie, get your kids in control, man. Uh, has an ability of pay a white. This card gains flying and first strike until end of turn. Pay a red. This card gains plus two, plus two until end of turn. 
What's that flavor text, Oscar? She would do anything, anything. to see her lord's ambitions through. Anything. Um, <laughs> anything. Um, so this this proves that 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 the we had some talks about. Jay, or no, face, that was that was you were cutting out there. Was yeah. I? I was I was thinking of something not. Don't worry about it. I was mistaken. Yeah, no. Uh, we'll see what happens with the buy two box promo, but yeah, the, yeah, we'll see the flavor for this one at least. Uh, this this is this is pre release promo. Is that what you're talking about? Or you're talking about different cards? Uh, Joey's talking, talking about... making reference of we're now seeing the flavor text of this one, but we saw the flavor okay, text gotcha, of the buy two gotcha. box promo. Yeah. I was also making reference to we know that that this is in the actual set, whereas Arwen we weren't sure about, right? So I was just referencing that because yeah. I know um, we had some doubts about whether or not she'd be in the set. Last up is Spiral of Chaos, which is a... Best card. Five cost, Divinity 2, Chance Slash, Master Rune. You pay three void less. No, if you, you may pay three less. If you control Isis, um, <laughs> this card deals 1,000 damage to target Resonator. If this card would deal more damage to that Resonator than its defense, this card deals the rest to that Resonator's controller. So a Resonator has 200 defense, and you play this card doing 1,000 to it. It, does, it kills that and then does 800 to your opponent, for example. So Oscar, d does that combo work? Did did you finally get a? Uh, they said as of right now it's working and it's tentative because they still need an official confirmation in CR, in case they update the deal the rest type of clause oh, okay. in the CR update. So what? As of right now, it works. You wanna... It could change. Yes, there's there's a card called Poison Stinger that um, if this card was dealt damage to it, it deals double that much. If if the resonator was dealt damage to um, by poison stinger, the, any it, other it says, damage will double the damage. <laughs> All right, I have the card. Hold up. It literally okay. It's a, it's a it's a rune. One cost, quick ass divinity two. It deals two hundred damage to target resonator. If that resonator would be dealt damage this turn, it's dealt double that instead. So you do this potentially or That's ideally awesome. you you play you go turn one. Turn two, before recovery, you pay your one stone to play Poison Steiner. Before recovery, you recover, call a stone, and then you pay two to um, uh, play that Isis Master Rune to deal 2,000 damage to uh, potentially a 200 defense resonator, and then deal eight, and the difference would be 1,800 uh, to your opponent. Wait, I think it needs to be a 300 defense resonator, not 200, which is what you said. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, 300 defense resonator, yeah. and then you deal the difference would be 1,700. To your opponent. You, you, you could also just play Spiral and in response to Spiral play Poison Stinger, right? And then they resolve backwards. Yes, but it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's the uh, same effect. I was trying to do it before yeah. recovery uh, phase. You're, you're, you're um, trying to make it... F like, so... Well, well, because... Was, yeah, to be able to play this on turn two, you have to um, Poison Stinger them before your upkeep. Which I, I already told Oscar, I personally, if that... Right now, obviously, that combo works based on everything we know, but... If that combo keeps working, I think that's a little too much. A turn two, potentially 1,700 damage at max mm -hmm. minimum. Prob you're probably not doing less than 14 or 1,500 turn two to your opponent's face. And then being able just to just keep doing that again, not with Poison Steiner, but that 1,000 difference. And then as Oscar uh, and I were talking about, also playing it with uh, uh, Welser. Uh, so uh, Welser copies it so at a later you do this turn two and then turn three uh, or four um, you would uh, play a Welser a resonator with the gods art and then play the master rune again and deal a thousand damage to two different resonators and have the difference go to your opponent and you've pretty much close to won the game at that point uh, there's better combos I was thinking of, of of like sequence of events but just as a reference but it's really Really strong, I think. Yeah, I'm. I, I think this card's amazing, and I, I like definitely it. will go and play Isis. Um, yeah, because of it. <laughs> like it's just it's flexible too. It if it had quick cast, it'd be like super broken. So that's fine. But um, but like the flexibility, especially with like a two cost thousand damage, is like pretty insane. Like uh, removal and stuff too. Um, yeah, here. it's. Big fan. It's pretty interesting. Um, but don't worry, Adam can draw some cards sometimes, maybe. 
<laughs> Unless this is they I got that balance. Do, uh, all the rulers are like this. All ten are like, whoa, which way? Whoa, whoa, I don't know. They're, they're keeping that balance, just like we promised. But yes. Right? Aren't you torn? You're going to play Fuji or Isis now? Which one? Yeah. What is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm playing Isis. I, I totally forgot what Fuji's even did. Um, <coughs> Fuji's was actually. Three piles. Three his, piles. His, one his of them other stays. piles. No, no. His, his, his first one was pretty cool. Mm. Anyways, that's piles. kind of the uh, spoilers for tonight. We'll go ahead and, uh, you know, check out the rest next week. So see you guys then. Uh, make sure to check out our podcast tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.